Old people of the Imperial City, welcome to fashion, honey. Lock it up, or Christ the King's Three, I suppose. With your good friend, the mighty, the noble, the oh so proud Aurang, who yesterday ate a child and gained enough piety to potentially reform the faith. Now, as a reminder, I am away for the day, no, the day before you're watching this, hence why I'm recording it now and not on the day that I'm not here, because that would be very difficult to do. Uh, so, uh, I, I have no comments to go off. I am completely in the dark about this one, but we have a singular, basic, very nice goal. Lots of things being set up for long-term plays. A culture currently focusing on the innovation that allows us, provincial governors, to uh, unlock the Kingdom Conquest Cassus Belly. We're going to take Coral, or what's left of Coral, by the time this enormous civil war ends, because Coral has the entire Kingdom of Coral, with the exception of a single county. Not only will that, potentially, give us an alien crown, it gives a Sancritor, which might do something for us. Maybe it doesn't, but on the plus side, it's a whole kingdom, so I'm certainly not going to complain. Our goal remains the same as it has been for the past week, right? Uh, do we have a perk? Oh, we do have a perk. Um, Heart of the family, befriend. Heart of the family is pretty powerful. Close family opinion, plus 15. It's very powerful when uh, all of your vassals happen to be your family members. So, uh, our, our goal remains the same as it has been for the last week. And that goal is to get enough piety to create a new religion dictated by Elrang and alien tradition. We're going to completely change the script. Malada is, is irrelevant. You know, we're effectively building a whole new religion here. To call it Malada or an old Mary faith would be wrong. We're going to allow most of the Daedra. We're going to allow things like... Uh, necromancy to be open. We're basically just going to say anything goes because Elrang is a man of knowledge. He is a man of ambition and he wants to see the best thing for his people without any limitations. Within reason, we might outlaw Sanguine out of pure pettiness. So, with that being said, uh, do we have any prisoners? Because we've recently just finished a war. That's right. Hello. How you doing? Uh, we're going to eat this man. Good start. Uh, we're gonna go and I think I want to aim to get maybe 10,000 piety and go from there So, uh, I ideally I want to declare we're on a kingdom tier title because that will at least give us some royal children to potentially devour I don't want to go to war with Kavach though because they're pretty enormous um, <sighs> Maybe we start heading north Warlord Hamvir the fourth Hamvir Frostbeard like, all of Bruma is pretty much divided right now, so I think we could really do some do some damage. Of interest is Cloud... Oh! Hey! I've probably looked at this ages ago and said, well, that's cool. But yeah, Cloud Ruler Temple does have uh, a custom model for it there. Look at that. Weird. Oh, that's so cool. Does that do anything out of interest? Cloud Ruler Temple. It is uh, 4 level plus 2, Defender Revenge plus 2, Hostile Raid Time plus 10%. Learning level per level of fame plus 2. Oh my god. We are maximum level of fame. Well, how many levels of fame are there? Five? But then you can also go into negative. So I presume it, it, it starts at like zero and then it does go into minus one. Um, man, that could be crazy for us. That's going to give us like five levels of learning, if not more. Why not go for 70 learning? Um, anyway, let's uh, start doing some wars. Let's stop pissing around and let's get back into the action. Let's drop you there. And then I think immediately, Hamvir, it's a bad day to be you, my friend. I would like some captives. And your captives have my name on them. And soon, my knife and also fork. Uh, let's go to Snowfall. We take a little attrition. I don't care. <laughs> I just do not care. We are trying to kill the Viscountess Claudia because the Viscountess Claudia tried to kill us. Or at least had a scheme um, that was trying to... Oh, this is very good, isn't it? Courtier's gaining court. All oh, the Dramora in our court are gaining courtier traits. That's so funny. Um, we captured those because Skingrad, for whatever reason, decided, yeah, I love Molag Bal. And they were summoning a bunch of Daedra that we then took and very ironically, uh, took dominion over Molag Bal's Daedra, which I'm very happy with. That's very much an Aurang thing to do, right? Right. Let's be careful a little bit, because they do have a lot of troops. You're going to attack into there, so we're going to reinforce with you, and we'll reinforce with you, and we'll, we'll kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yes. Good kill. Um, that's the war over already. Amazing work. Thank you. That was bloody easy. Maybe I should do less siege. I mean, we should do more siege. I shouldn't have surrendered that war out so quickly, right? Because we get prisoners from, um, you know, we'll get prisoners from actually taking holdings. Ah, Lady Reese. Very good. Eat her. 250 Pisces there. Devour you. Victus Frostbeard is 100. Devour you. 
I think every faith is hostile to us, but I am just going to double check for that without being viewed as a tyrant. Uh, claws. We're basically up to 9,000 already. Bull's horn. Uh, let's move you to there then. And let's go for you next. I, I it's so uh, Thank you for that comment. Whoa. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, grind those hips. Hold on a second. Uh, I thought that we were able to declare war on caps if we had no prisoners. Which certainly did seem to be the case when we tested it, but now we can't. Oh. Am I an idiot? Was it there all along and I missed it? Maybe. Quite possibly. Right, let's throw you at the bull's horn proper. And then you can go to anger. And then you can go to that minor settlement there. And let's just siege this one down. Um, we are ill from eating lots of people. So there's clearly a delay on it then, isn't there? So my theory was probably right. My theory that there could be a random amount of days delay on actually becoming ill. Interesting. We've got to make sure that then when we go on big eating sprays that we have enough manner in the bag to see it through. Do we have everything enabled that we want to? Yeah, I think so. Right, there we go. Let's get on with it then. Should be another easy war. So, Viscountess Claudia of Fairgill, uh, only a 66% chance to kill her, but we've got a 19% chance of the scheme being discovered. So, very low chance for this actually to go wrong, but, hopefully. Shit. If at first you don't succeed, try again. She's gonna know we're trying to kill her. That should be quite a big... Now, we did actually get a successful scheme firing to uh, kidnap and devour her, but unfortunately, it did not work. So, it, uh, like, the game just bugged, and, and you can see there that the scheme should be firing. I can't cancel it. We can't do anything about it. We're up to 95% chance of murder, so we'll see it through. Should have bribed those people earlier, shouldn't I? Why are all my vassals automatically joining? I thought you had to call them in. Never mind. Wherever I go, my steward Niloni is sure to follow. That look in her eyes, the words on her lips. I know exactly what she's after. Ah, piss off. Well, this, the Elrang is a loyal man, and he is in deep love. They are soulmates with his demonic wife. Again, couldn't think of a more appropriate outcome. How have we not won? I guess we just need to get some battle war skill going, right? Well, that's easy enough. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, so, yesterday, we saved, or, or, or more specifically, Elrang's grandson, Nim, uh, approached us and said that his wife was an insatiable witch. And he needs to be rescued. So we rescued him. Uh, and then Elrang had thought afterwards, oh, maybe we should kill his wife. We killed his wife uh, pretty much as soon as we gave him some land. Um, it's totally not suspicious at all. And he's on board. He's on board with Himaeus Mora. But he is a guy who had like, what, 40 learning? So of course he's on board with Himaeus Mora. I know that having high learning wouldn't immediately make you want to worship a tentacle demon. But that's not really the point, is it? Again, 50 pi T. There we go. How many prisoners did we get? How much meals can we have? How many meals can we have? Hello. Ladilius Cowflop. What a fucking name. Hello. Um, you get devoured. Serious Cowflop. Greta Frostbeard. Very good. Not much piety from that one. In fact, that was kind of a waste of time. Maybe we do go for the bigger districts. Sejanus. One, two, three, four, five, six. That might be a better call. This is good practice for the army, too. It's it's nice. To, it's basically just an army drill for them, isn't it? it let's them uh, stretch their legs a little bit. Right, let's get some more light horsemen. Bear in mind, if we could save up the money, we could. I could be transmuting, but I want to save, again, the, the cash for... I could just not eat them. Hmm, you're right. I was going to say I need to save up the uh, Magicka for curing his illness, but I could just cure the illness by never having the illness. If, you know... Uh, you you eat a bunch of people and get ill. You could just not eat the people. <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the drill meme, isn't it? You know, like my family is starving because Elrang is uh, eating all the people. He just did. I just wish he just wish I wasn't ill all the time. He says, shoveling another child into his mouth. Right, let's do it. Oh, speaking of which, for God's sake. All right, maybe this is the sign. We shouldn't be playing fast and loose with Aurang's mortality when he is still mortal. So maybe there's been a change of plan. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, leave me be. We're going to have to let it tick for a little while then, aren't we? Uh, maybe instead we stop eating people and we spend the money on troops, which we could probably do some really good stuff with. Do we need someone to Daedra? No, I need to check them more frequently. Uh, remedy illness. Very good. I'm sure to be well again. No more eating people. You've had enough to last you a lifetime. M maybe I shouldn't say that because that is very much tempting the monkey's paw, isn't it? Right. Good start. We should really be chasing down those troops to get the war score, shouldn't we? Let's, let's give chase. Oh, my vassal's on it, but I feel like they've fucked it. There you go. We're good. Right. Wendelbeck. 
Might be some cool stuff in Wendell back, actually. Uh, yeah, no, don't surrender out yet. Siege it down. Oh! Holy shit, as if they bought it back. Great work. I mean, they haven't bought it back. It's still 100%. Right, kill her. 95% chance that we kill Viscountess Claudia. And because, uh, Arang is vengeful, and I guess we failed before. She is dead. Viscountess Claudia is dead. Claimed by the cold embrace of the ocean. The flaming arrow shot by my agent blazed a burning path across the harbor. And only moments later, the whole boat was up in flames. All passengers ended up in, in the water. And fine fabric gets so heavy when wet. The archer could not be found. That's crazy. Hold well on. Um, it did end the abduct scheme. It was to abduct her, and it was a scheme that was successful. Debatably. Oh, no, turn around. Shit, sorry, I didn't mean to send you. Um, there you go. Everything's fine. My charming liege, Hadhul. Ah, oh, thank you, my friend. Right, let's get this siege down too. Might as well get as many prisons as possible. I'll do it. And then one last county. Perfect. Boom. We actually had him in the prison. What I should have done is sacrificed him then. That's on me. Could have made some uh, much easier pie see. So it's a 9,089. Let's do a couple of sacrifices here and there. Boom. And uh, that was worth 100. Very nice. Very good. Does that say Tribunal Temple? Oh, they're humans that have converted to the Alm um, Sivi. That's weird. Don't like that one. Um, tiny Child. Goodbye. And Muth Sarah Thatus. Goodbye. That was 500 pie see, that wolf. That's pretty good. Okay. So. Hold on a second. Uh, maybe we try and... What's going on there? Goblin uprising right in the middle of elsewhere. Uh, what about, like, kidnapping the main again? Because that was something I had to abandon because we lost. Okay, let's give it a go. See if we can get some people on board. Um, I keep looking at the wrong tab. Still not used to it. Because in my brain, prisoners, intro tab, CK2. Uh, you know how it is. It's going to be a long time to undo 6,000 hours worth of other games. Um, acceptance. Right. Let's get you on board. We could probably pull this off. Uh, uh, and the reason I think that is even though these briberies aren't massive, it takes up to 85%. Did I eat them again? I said we weren't going to eat them, Elrang. For God's sake, he's just so hungry. I name you Drew Peanuts at this rate. <laughs> it's from Rimworld. That's from Rimworld. Okay, it's a, it's a small crossover, I know. King Kings and Rim Rims are basically in a cold war right now. Uh, Remedy Illness, you're good, isn't he? Right, okay, so hold on. Um, we kidnapped the main. What I was about to say is, uh, right now, our counselor is, of course, supporting... Sorry, disrupting schemes rather than supporting schemes. I'm just going to swap them back over. Oh, we don't need it, though, do we? Let's keep you on disrupt. We don't need it. Oh, good old Morrowind soundtrack. I feel like Morrowind still had the best soundtrack out of all the Elder Scrolls games. Just hasn't aged as well, because obviously it's not as high quality as the others. Uh, like, literal in terms of bits. Uh, right, so... Are you a king tier character? You're a duke. Let's see if we can kidnap you then. There's another uh, uh, plot that we had to abandon, unfortunately. Get the prelate. Ooh, lots of people want her gone. Ooh, this is nice. Lots of guests from foreign court visiting the prelate. She does count as a king tier character because it's a theocracy kingdom tier realm. So in theory, that's another what? Like 500 piety there? Maybe we can avoid another war. Not that I'm that fussed about it. Uh, what's this artifact we found? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Bloodlust for Bull's Horn. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a chitty poem. Right, gotcha. Thank you. Sure. Well, that's dealt with that. Let's take a little breather from these wars. Uh, ab abduct the Iron Orca Cyrodelic Bosmeri Code. Sure, an uncrackable code. That seems good. Might as well do it because it might counteract some of the negatives. Say she uncovers the whatever. Uh, speaking of which, Oriel will judge those sinners. Very much so. Have you got any decisions I've been ignoring for a long time? Oh, court events. Right. Uh, what have we got? You want to go on an adventure? You are legendary. Go. Absolutely. Be free. The world is yours, my friend. Totally agree. Uh, you would like to make a piece of jewelry. I'm not spending any more money. Particularly as right now. Oh, we do have a court event. Uh, a healthy rivalry between metals and Fizes is to be expected, and the growing discord between Evilu and Fanuende is souring the mood at court. Evilu is widely regarded as more skilled, but Fanuende clearly takes issue with the assertion. Fight. Fight and die. Uh, I don't want Evilu to die, though. Do we find out the result? Evilu wins the duel. Totally fine. Actually very acceptable. So I want to keep some money in the bank, A, to help keep sponsoring this. Um... Oh, yeah, let's do that. To keep sponsoring the, uh, 
Based on opinion, does that change much? Tiny taxi cruise, sure, whatever. Um, to, to fund the adventure, but also so that eventually we can try and buy more mammoths. If I stopped eating people, we wouldn't have to worry about it, but I just can't stop myself. Uh, we want to possess something truly unique. So we are going to... What does that say? What happens? Funded with 557. We've given you that already because I can't afford to give you that now. We're sat on 29,000 prestige. Hold on. Explore the farmlands. Stop. Why are we not just going to reform the culture? We could add a whole new cultural tenet. And we can afford anything we want. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Uh, bound by faith. That could be really interesting for if we do bring the... If we do bring the faith together. Hold on, though. Bound by the sword. No limit to the number of kingdom level holy wars that can be declared. L casts a that requires a specific level of devotion require one less. I've got to ask, then. Your, level, your diplomacy goes down by the level of devotion you've got. Your martial goes up by the level of devotion you've got. You lose piety and you lose different faith opinion. I've got to check. Does that innovation give us access to unlimited... Can use individual du jour kingdom cast a spell. I can use kingdom conquest. Because if that doesn't give us a limited kingdom conquest cast a spell, and we've got a lot of kingdoms to conquest, I would rather just add that into the culture and just go buck wild with it, right? Just go really crazy with it? I'm not sure. Um, is there any regional thing that we can apply? Uh, we've got a couple. Heartland High Elves. So there is actually a, a an alien culture here. Uh, rulers start with high prowess skill. Uh, sorry, rulers with high prowess skill may pay prestige to claim titles held by other rulers. Rulers with poor education traits are distrusted. Um, then there's something called culture parameter schismatic faith. Okay, different culture peasant factions and populist factions are less common. Dislikes marrying outside of heritage. Very unlikely to arrange marriages outside of their own culture. We gain more dread. We gain higher dread per tyranny. That's interesting. And then we've got Kings in Exile, which might be another, I, I presume is also related to our, um, oh, to this culture we've got right now. Rulers with high pr prowess. Okay, so we've got that again. Humble trait is more common. Oh, God, no, we don't want that one. My God, how dare you? <laughs> Remnant Kings. The Ventral trait is more common. Intrigue per level of flame plus one. Ooh, I like that. That sounds pretty good. I imagine a lot of these have been updated in the newer version, but of course I'm still playing on the old version for um, for compatibility. Is there anything that's like magical based? Because I definitely need to... blood sports, torture for prestige, torture practice, torture trophies, sadistic characters are admired while compassionate and shy individuals are scorned. Oh, that does sound very hell right. <laughs> I don't care what they do. I'm gonna pick one based on its name and its name alone. Uh, and you know what? If it's shit, if, if everybody thinks like this is terrible, here's what you can do. You can tell me that and we can just get rid of it whenever we want because we've got 29,000 prestige. And this one here. Uh, tradition attuned to Magicka. Positive Arcana efficiency and uh, affinity and student Magicka are more valued. Cultural fascination progress is down by 10% though. Oh. Arcane so there's something there. Cultural parameter, Arcane affinity birth. Cultural parameter can disrupt prisoners. Arcana claim enabled, magic disruption blocks inheritance. So there's some effects there, but again, it's it's not been totally localized in it, at least this version. So I don't entirely know what that does for us. I could take a look at the code um, and see what it does. But I do like that, though. Our culture based on Magicka seems pretty appropriate for us, eh? Uh, deep Strike warrior, warrior Priests. Uh, have we got any sort of like magical benefit to our armies? I need a strong Quarrelsome. Can use Conquest Casters Belli without the innovations. Or Casters Belli is down by 20%. That's interesting. Quarrelsome. I would say l right is very quarrelsome. Yeah, that's very true. Um, honestly, out of all of them, I really like the magic one. And I think I will probably go for that. Even though we don't entirely know what it does. Uh, I think that seems the most suitable. Magic has been such a massive part. Let's do it. It's Oh, we can't do it. Oh, we established this tradition too recently. Oh, shit. Four years. Remind me in four years that we're going to swap that over. I think that's a great idea. Um, Sorry, what's this? Uh, courtly. Oh, we can change the actual type of... Oh, my God. The ethos of the culture. Whoa. Okay, so we got Bellicose, which is war heavy, uh, more or less. Then we've got Stoic. Oh, that's not bad. Stoic uh, health boost, lower stress. 
lower casualties, higher defending. Bureaucratic gives higher lifestyle experience, higher cultural fascination. Ooh, and development growth up 15. I feel like that's very appropriate for what we've done. Spiritual gives piety, control growth, and faith, and reformation costs down by 20%. I don't think we do that. Um, is that cooldown of five years? Oh, that's how long it takes to establish. Egalitarian and communal. Uh, honestly, I think bureaucratic suits us the most. What does courtly do? Prestige, title creation, house opinion, and court grandeur bonus. I feel like we've got that covered. Honestly, I think bureaucratic suits us way, 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 way more. So let's do it. I'm very happy with that. Honestly, we could go as far to divert and <laughs> you can't call it the fashionista culture. I refuse. We could flip the whole, we could make our own culture at some stage, right? Um, but that's something for another very, very long-term plan, I think. I'm very happy to establish what we, we saw there. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's kidnap the main. And then we've got to look at reforming. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of reformation today, I think. Because we've got to... Oh, our kidnapper, go. Kidnap him. Okay, we got you. I hope you like your new quarters. The other one didn't fire again. Sometimes this kidnap scheme just doesn't seem to work. And now I'm going to have to murder her. Otherwise, she's going to take up a, a, a slot. Oh, that's really annoying, isn't it? I don't know why that doesn't work. I'm not going to pay anyone to join me because we've got 100%. Um, hello, I think you should give me some stuff. What do you want? You want the white boar of Senelana? Oh, hello. Yes, yeah, somebody said you should have a look and see what happened with your dynasty over in Valenwood. Uh, well, not our dynasty, but Elrang and his last wife, Marinora's kids, should still be active out here, right? So, Gareth the Conqueror died. Is, is that the only direct descendant left? I suppose so, yeah. She wants the white boar of Senela. Honestly, no. <laughs> I was going to say take it. And then I thought, what would Elrang do? No, he would He would not just acquiesce because his granddaughter demanded it. If she wants it, she can come and take it. Then he'll be impressed. Hold a Mystic Communion. I think this can increase the wise man perk, can't it? I don't know if we've just been a little unlucky here. Uh, while the Mystic practices, I've been, I've developed quite a reputation. People don't know what it is I do exactly, but they know they don't want to cross me and find out. It's ridiculous, but perhaps it's not entirely a bad thing. Uh... Do we want... Well, either way, we get Divine Guidance and the Learning Lifestyle Experience, but this one gives us Dangerous to Know, 20% Dread Gain and 25% Hostile Skin Resistance. The other gives Devout Protector. Court Opinion, Personal Skin Power. Nah. They can be af as afraid as their little souls make them. Very nice. I am hoping that will follow up similar to uh, Hunting and Feasting with eventually it saying, you know, like... Hey, you've upgraded your Wise Man trait. Somebody did say, uh, have you not had Elrang trying to lose weight for years? And you keep eating people. And the answer is yes. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Let's go on a hunt. We haven't done that for a while. Hello. The hunting trip appears to have been less than fruitful so far. Some of our party appears to have given up completely. Or are attempting to make the best of a lovely day outside. But what on earth is my vassal Halanik doing? She is crouched down on the ground humming cheerfully. My lord, look. There are many useful herbs and flowers here. One can soothe aches. And this one aids in the recovery of a broken humerus. And this one is said to ward off great pox. She's blabbering on about the plants she's collecting. Instead of being on the lookout for prey. Um, Elrang is a man of learning. Fascinating. Tell us about that flower. Or we can say, uh, are you practicing witchcraft? Says the man worshipping the tentacle demon. Again, uh, Elrang's man of learning. He loses prestige, but... Oh my god, he actually became obese. Look. It's like the game fucking heard me. You became obese. Health severe penalty. Oh, but he's old. He's actually, to say that he is uh, getting to the end of his uh, uh, predicted lifespan, his projected lifespan of uh, mid-200s, he's 230. He is obese and in, in very old age by uh, his lifespan terms. And he is, quote-unquote, not feeling well. His health is still excellent, which gives me very, very, very good hope that we probably don't need to rush reforming the religion anytime soon, right? Uh, oh, he's no longer obese. That's all it took. One hunt. I guess he was right on the cusp. Um, the main is in our prison. Oh, come on, I forgot about you. Let's have an execution. Um, boom. Now, don't eat them. Don't eat them. We remember, we're, we're past eating people. Oh, we could eat the main, though. That's not really cannibalism if you eat a cat, is it? Um, let's exorcise the Grand Hall and let's mock the Kingdom of Kvach. Cost a 17 core grandeur, but these things happen. Um... Yeah, let's carry on. It's a shame we didn't kidnap her, because then we'd get a lot more. Ooh. Hello. Um, you've returned from the Black Marsh with a set of armor. 
Yes, pest steel scale armor. Cool. Steel scales that are fastened to fastened to uh, the backing of leather. A spangen helm and an aventail. Wow, thank you. This is magnificent. I wish I hadn't paid you money for that, to be honest. All my notifications have doubled up very suddenly, and I'm not sure why. I'm using that mod that lets you customize it, but I might I might I might remove it. Um, I feel like it needs a lot of hassle and, and fanning around that I just can't be asked with. For a more patient player, it'll work perfectly. Oh my god, Coral Splintered. Uh, I really wanted to use a Kingdom Conquest Cast's Bell Eye on you, you cowards. Right, so, uh, look, I said we'd get up to 10,000 Piety. We're there now, now that we've executed the main. Let's have a look then. And this will be, I, I think, what we're about to form here will be our final... Uh, religion. So, uh, first things first, we need to get the undead one. Right? Everybody was losing their mind over that. So that was... There's also reincarnation, which is interesting. Um, what was it called again? Undead something something. Undead somewhere here. Uh... I'll find it. Don't worry. Don't panic. I don't... Master over undead. That's right. Um... And class with any doctrine that makes necromancy shunned or criminal. What makes necromancy shunned or criminal? Uh, right, well, okay, well, let's change that first, then, if that's the limiting factor. So, view on gender equal is fine. We go lay clergy with that one. We go uh, fundamental, absolutely fine. We want temporal, um, but we need to change it from revocable, don't we? I remember. We have a strong cultural identity, right, with our... Our faith in our culture should be individual. And then our liturgical language should be Daedric. I like that a lot. Um, number of deities. Uh, we're going to say polytheism. Our main pantheon will be Daedra. So we're going to flip the script on that. Uh, Daedric princes. Uh, Lorcan will be forbidden. And our secondary pantheon will be some Aedra. Secondary pantheon deity. We're going to have Jeffrey. We're going to have Magnus. And we're going to have, uh, I think, Cirabane. Yeah. Maybe Finaster with his delicious face. I, th I think those suit us better. Okay. Marriage ties. Uh, we'll keep that the same. Ma uh, you know what? I'm going to say divorce always allowed. That seems good. Marriage type. Why not polygamous? Why not? I mean, it doesn't suit Elrang. Elrang might not want it, but he might not want to put that restriction on his people. He might allow it because we're such a small culture, a single county, just to encourage more, more babby to be formed. He's a pragmatic man, and I feel like this makes sense. Um, you are allowed to legitimize bastards, again, for the same reason that I just mentioned. Consanguinity, or, or in fact, we could even go as far as saying there were no such thing as bastards, but I feel like his pride would override that somewhat. I think bastards, if they are good, Elrang, of course, would say this is an exceptional child, good magic genius, big learning, you deserve to be legitimized, right? Consanguinity, uh, Avuncula is fine. I don't think we really care about... <sighs> would, would he be bothered by inbreeding, given that inbreeding was... was arguably essential to this culture surviving i think we leave it how it is again he's a pragmatic man and i think he would know that there would be some issues with that kind of genetically right suitable party anybody can be married yep fine male adultery uh we are a, a culture of ambition i think if you get away with it fair enough i think we should allow everything kill your dynasties kill your what i mean you, you could argue either way right Characters who kill Ken are not seen as kinslayers. They're still uh, subject to the law. You kill someone, you go to prison. That's how it works. But if you get away with it... Any character... Yeah, no, I, th I think I think that's that's fine. Okay? I, th I think we just allow everything. Clerical function. Control. I totally agree. Clerical gender. Either is fine. Marriage is allowed. Uh, temporal. Revocable. Yes, good. That should let us change this to uh, Temporal Head of Faith. So Elrang will be the new uh, head of this religion. Um, Azura? I think by default, all the Daedra will be allowed. Right? All the Daedra will be allowed to, again, encourage... Why can't we keep that? Oh, right. Just, just because... Okay, sure. I didn't know if there was any other... It's because we haven't named it or anything yet. All the Daedra should be allowed. And then uh, maybe... 
<laughs> we'll be petty against Sanguine because he cursed Elrang for years. So we're going to shun Sanguine. Um, I think this is okay. And then we'll pick a Pantheon, right? So I think we said Boethia is... Uh, she's the Prince of Plots, so that seems appropriate. Clavicus Vile, uh, the Prince of Pacts, seems appropriate. Hermaeus Mora, absolutely Pantheon, Prince of Knowledge. Her scene will just keep you as allowed, allowed, Mary's Dagon allowed. Mafala. Uh, that's like, like vices, almost, if I remember correctly. Uh, Moloch Bell, I would say Pantheon. Namira is like spooky spiders and shit, right? Or is that Vermina? No, Vermina is dreams. Uh, Sanguine, is, yeah, you're fine. Nocturnal, who gives a shit about Nocturnal? Shagrath, whatever. Um, honestly, I feel like Shagrath would be shunned. Because Shea Gorath is, is madness, and, and no good things can come from that. There's no learning to be gained there. What knowledge you get, you're going to lose your mind in the process. So what are you going to do with it, right? So I feel like we shun Sanguine and Shea Gorath because they're like a little bit more just about partying, a little less about knowledge. All the others, I think, have some benefit. Is that all right for the Pantheon, you think? I think that's okay. Meridia, arguably to shunned, she is a uh, patron of alien you know like umaril was uh the champion of meridia a, a, a lot of uh alien worship meridia but arang's gonna turn himself into a zombie and meridia is probably not gonna be a big fan of that so i would almost say shunning meridia because clearly she didn't bloody help the aliens very much did she uh generous well let's go with our virtues then um patient i think would be a virtue i think that uh, brr, uh ambitious of course a virtue um What's the opposite of lazy? Diligent. Patient, diligent, ambitious. I don't know if greedy should necessarily be a sin, because greed can go hand in hand with ambition. Um, I think... Uh, maybe like... I don't think impatience... It's a, not always the opposite is true. Um, you could be impatient for good things to happen. Maybe that will speed you up a little bit. Um, I think that... We should say... Uh, what have we got? Lazy. Lazy is definitely the important one. Deceitful should not be a sin. I think that maybe... Uh, forgiving should be a sin. <laughs> Compassionate. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, we can reform it now if we wanted to. Oh, but I haven't picked the tenants. So the tenants could be a big breaker here. Um, so we want to say, uh, Daedric Bargains. Ooh, I like that idea, kind of. I think we want to say Esotericism for the magic. I think we wanted to say, uh, Veneration of Knowledge almost seems perfect for this. And then I think we also want to say Zombies. I think we want to say Zombies. And I think that would be, oh, we don't quite have enough piety. Okay, we can do that in no time. That will be it then. So this is, this is, uh, basically I'll let you all vote on this over the next 24 hours, right? Uh, or, or actually, of course, it'll be more like 12 hours because I need to record it. I, I can't record it 24 hours, then release the episode at the same time. That's it's a strain, terrible strain on the animator's wrists. But we will do uh, Esoteric, Federation Knowledge, Master of Rundeth, and those Daedra. So if there's, uh, uh, presume that this is exactly what I'm going to do with it, and, and I want feedback based on this. We know exactly how much it's going to cost us. We know that all we've got to do is basically kidnap and kill a person or eat a person or do one more war and we're there. This is it. Then, after that, the Become a Lich decision, I think, is another thousand piety. At which point, we're locked in as our ring. So let me know what you think. Very different to the first kind of uh, d uh, design brief we had. Because a lot of this stuff wasn't allowed. But I think this is good. I like this a lot. Really, it's feedback on the Daedra I like to, to, to kind of take arguments. Oh, Mayron Stegen should be Pantheon. Right, there you go. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, Prince of Ambition, of course he should be. Um, I think this is fine. I think I'm happy with that. Feedback on this, though, is what I'm after. So let me know, and we'll be back very soon. Arguably, Mafala should be Pantheon. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Give me feedback on that. We'll be back soon. 11,468 piety. Only a thousand more. We're good. See you all tomorrow.